Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many data engineers encounter when working with Apache Spark. Our viewer is trying to convert an RDD of rows into an RDD of strings. Let's break down the scenario. They have a data frame sourced from a MySQL database, which they successfully converted to an RDD. However, they now need to transform this RD of rows into an RDD of strings to perform further operations. How can they achieve this? Let's explore the solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To convert an RDD of rows to an RDD of strings, we first need to understand the structure of our data. We have a data frame called source, which we read from a MySQL database. We convert the data frame to an RDD using the .RDD method. This gives us an RDD of rows, which is not what we need for our transformations. To transform this RDD of rows into an RDD of strings, we can use the map function. We will extract the string representation of each row. Now that we have our RDD of strings, we can perform various transformations, such as splitting the strings and applying operations like subtract the key. In summary, we read a data frame from MySQL, convert it to an RDD of rows, and then map it to an RDD of strings for further transformations. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To convert RDD of row to RDD of string, first check your schema. If it's just a string, you can easily convert it using a data set. Remember, if you're using Spark 1.6, Use SQL Context instead of Spark. In Spark 2.0 and later, use Spark Session. You can also create your own case classes or map rows directly from a data frame. Here's how you can do that. And that's it, guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.